Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. Today I thought I'd do a bit of a, um, a video on Corvettes in the game. Uh, as you know, in like Star Wars and just spaceships in uh, general, they have classifications from like Corvette, Frigate, Cruiser, Destroyer, uh, all that business. But today I specifically wanted to talk about Corvette, not because it's misused, I believe when someone publishes a ship to the workshop they can call it absolutely whatever they want, whatever class they want, it's up to them, because they've got their own fleets and they dictate what, you know, what um, counts as a class. But I like to think that there are some general rules, which is why I've picked out um, four, well three very good ships and one okay ship. That ship's mine, by the way. <laughs> I'm not insulting anyone. This is my ship. That's okay. And then these three are absolutely mm, beautiful ships. And I want to talk about what makes a ship a corvette. Uh, by definition, in the, uh, the the navy, and that a corvette is the smallest possible warship. The sun has just decided it wants to go on the wrong side of me here. I prefer the definition. Well, eh, I think they don't have to be tiny, but they do have to be a bit smaller than, say, a frigate. So I think this is um, knocking almost on the door of a frigate, but it's still a corvette because of the, um, the turrets it has. This is this is the main thing I want to point out about corvettes. Is corvettes? Keep in mind everything I say in this video is just my opinion. By the way, you don't have to follow this at all, but. In my opinion, corvettes should focus on anti-fighter roles. That's just what they should be built for. Um, and you can you can see that in these designs because all these ships mainly use interior turrets, which are very good against small fighters and pretty ineffective against larger ships because they're not meant to take on larger ships. They're just way too small for that. Um, they can't stand toe to toe with a bigger ship because. Basically, there are fewer actual armor blocks, like most of the blocks on here are system blocks, so if it takes just one missile hit, that could knock out one of the main systems, which is quite problematic. Whereas fighters won't really be able to just one hit you like that. So, um, the first ship I'm going to talk about is mine. This is the Corvette Brevis uh, Mark III. It's not important. It carries two of my fighters. Um, that's another thing. Corvettes don't usually carry fighters. I just decided to carry fighters because um, I needed it for survival, and you kind of need to be able to carry ships in survival. Um, and as you can see, we have many, many interior turrets, uh, especially near the cockpit, to protect against missiles. And uh, also, these Vulcans are very good against fighters and quite bad against larger ships. However, I do have a 300mm cannon which has decided it wants to go inside the blocks here. However, I would like to point out that that is mainly for the uh, single player. Because what I like to do is I like to use that to remove turrets on cargo ships when I'm trying to capture them. Uh, you can easily replace that with a um, I'll give you a bit of an interior tour of each of them as well. So this is the, the Brevis line, I've got this airlock in here. And as you can see, it's not roomy, it's just built for efficiency. So an interior turret to protect against borders, programmable block. Uh, this, I think, is very important. Have some backup thrusters within the ship. So if all the other thrusters are down, I can fire these and get the hell out of them. Uh, med bay, extremely important to have aboard a warship, obviously. And I will admit this cockpit is shit, but it gives a very good view. And I just trust the interior turrets to protect it. The entire bow of this ship is heavy armour, so that also helps. But as you can see, not very roomy, just very, very space efficient. And the house doors on the windows, like a warship should have, really. Um, it's not built to look good, although I think it looks good. That's just my personal opinion, obviously, because I, I didn't build it. Um, 
and they, they don't need a lot of thrusters, really. That's more of the frigate's role, to move around quickly, but they do need to be able to, you know, dodge around uh, and sort of engage with the fighters, the corvettes. They're not just static, like is often depicted. Um, next, probably <laughs> one of my most, one of my favourite ships. This is the Corvette Argo. It's absolutely stunning. This is a beautiful ship. All these will be in the description. Features um, full ion and hydrogen thrust and partial atmospheric thrust. Uh, and it has only interior turrets, as you can see. Which is a design choice I very much agree with for the Corvette role in a ship. Again, it's very small, very space efficient, uh, heavy armour, and very manoeuvrable. That's just. Actually, uh, so I'm just trying to give you some examples here of what, a, uh, uh, what I think a Corvette warship should ideally look like. This cockpit's a bit better than mine, as you can see. Uh, a bit more protected. And then down here we have some of the main systems. I built the ship in a survival world. Um, one thing I did notice is it's very, very pretty, but if you uh, scratch it or you get into a fight, it's quite difficult to repair because of all the you know, different types of blocks and everything, so just keep that in mind if you're playing survival. Um, but, I mean, considering you're not going against large ships, you don't really need too much protection, as fighters aren't going to last very long against these turrets. So, okay, the Picket Light Corvette here, this is another very, very good example. All interior turrets, as you can see, again, good design choice. Uh, this one actually features some, um, I believe these are like beacons, but it has decoys as well, if I remember correctly. Am I thinking of a different ship? These have decoys on them. No, they don't. What am I thinking of? Well, th that, that can deploy little boys and they'll float around and give out locations. So, um, yeah, again, just a very, you know, well-suited ship to take out fighters. Any fighter's going to have a hard time. Especially as there is no bridge, it's, um, it's a CIC within the ship. Which for space engineers is, I'd say, better because you don't really need to see out all the time when you're playing in first person constantly. But you can see very well protected the bridge and a med bay, a simple interior. Corvettes don't have a lot of room inside, so you've got to try and make the most of every block you can spare to make it feel a bit weird. But then again, it is a warship, so that's not completely necessary. Um, okay. This is the only ship I haven't memorized the name of, because it's quite a new ship. To me, at least. Um, so what's it called? The Imperial... Oh my god. Uh, I wish I had turned it on. The Imperialus. Imperials. Fuck, I can't pronounce that. Imperial, Imperialus, Imperialus, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that, we'll just call it the Imp. <laughs> um, but this is a very beautiful ship again. It does have some Gatling guns, which, um, I mean, Corvettes can have Gatling guns, there's, there's nothing against Gatling guns, because Gatling guns are still very good against fighters. Missiles, however, are pretty shit against fighters, so I would try and avoid missile turrets. Um, pretty much at all costs. This has, uh, I think these are decoys that drops. Uh, again, interior turrets lining the ship. Combination of, I think, I don't think there are any ion thrusters on this actually. I'll put that on that, but. No, there aren't, so it's all hydrogen and atmospheric. So, um, interesting. Very interesting. You also notice that most of these ships have a rocket launcher, so that the picket, I swear the picket has a rocket launcher. No, it doesn't. Uh, the Argo does, and my ship doesn't, so. Yeah. As you can see, they're in size order. Mine's 
pretty small compared to these ones, but they're all still core bats. Um, you also notice that most of these can go into atmosphere as well, because they're so small you can use hydrogen to keep them up very easily. Uh, very good bridge on this ship. Some nice looking, but not very uh, effective solar panels. Um, the main problem is fighters are gonna they're gonna target these hydrogen tanks. They they just will. Um, so you're gonna have to try and point the front of the ship towards the fighters at all times if you can, because there's no ion obviously. So if the hydrogen tanks get destroyed, which is very likely, then you are effed pretty much. That is one downside. However, that large hydrogen thruster will make it pretty quick. So. And it just has a very nice thrust on there overall. Quick to the As you can see, very, very compact, which is quite, you know, it's one of the reasons I like Corvettes, because people making them have to actually think about every block they place. Remote control there. Up here to a little bit of an observation room. Med bay, back up cockpit. just to give you some um, tips and examples of good Corvettes, what you can do with them. Uh, I think they should be mainly anti-fighter, sort of like gunships, but um, yeah. Obviously, it's completely up to you, I just thought I'd give you my uh, two cents on the, the matter. Thanks for watching, and take care. <laughs>